Riley Sorola coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm at Shoreditch and I'm on my way to the Blues Kitchen on Curtain Road. Now, I've been here, some of you already know that I've been here uh, on two separate occasions. The first time I came to this particular branch in Shoreditch and uh, the experience was amazing. The food was phenomenal, but I wasn't able to actually showcase the uh, the experience so I decided to come here again I also found out that they actually have a live band so that was why I was really excited to, and keen to come here again so I went to the one in the Camden branch that was my second time the experience wasn't as fulfilling I was actually disappointed the food wasn't great um, yeah I was, I, I was I was quite sad that day it was a it, it was a bad day it was a bad experience um, so this is my third time, third time lucky, fingers crossed, the food will be good and uh, this time I get to hopefully see the live band. Almost there, reservations for 7.15, what's the time now? 7... 7.11 7.11, whoa, we're well, nearly there. Restaurant's on Curtain Road, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, shut this now because it's really, really cold. Need to get my hands back in my pockets. Madness on the roads. All right. So, as you can see, we've just arrived at the restaurant. Got here a little bit late, but um, it wasn't much of a problem. Got ourselves seated, and I just found out that if you get a table for 7.15, 7.30, and you're seated at one of the tables by the bar, like we have here, you actually get the table for the whole night which is brilliant because when I um, actually reserved the table I was told that we only get the tables for two hours but because we've got it by the bar at 7.30 and they don't see anyone else after 7.30 we get the table for the whole night so um, that's great I thought the live band would be coming at 9 but I've been told that the live bands come at 10.30 and at midnight so I'm going to try and showcase uh, at least one of the live bands for you guys to see now I'm just going to try and figure out what I'm going to eat. Do you know what you're going to eat? No, I have no idea. I still have to have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, same. Ooh, dark and stormy. Dark and stormy. It's got ginger beer. DJ's barbecue's rad stack. Oh man, it's got it's got so much in it. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we're ready to take the orders. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll go first. So we get the um, wings and things. The wings and things. Yeah. Are you guys very hungry? It might be it's quite big. Oh, is it quite yeah. big? the large one a lot? Nine of them. Nine? Yeah. What do you think of nine? Yeah, we'll get nine. Yeah, we'll get nine, yeah. yeah, we'll nine, yeah. Uh, twins. Then the maize has the portion that's quite big, so... Yeah. And if you're still a high one, you can go for the set. Yeah. That's why you have to... Oh, you, got, you have a dessert menu as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll bring you later. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, definitely. Cool. But how, how, when does your kitchen actually close? Uh, at 11. 11? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I go to the shop, please? Shop in So that comes the right? You can get the price and go Yeah, and I'll get the uh, burger, burger of the month. Can, can I not have the um, tomatoes in there? No tomatoes, yeah. Please. Um, how would you like it cooked? Uh, Medium to well. And that with rice and as well. Okay. That's the same Alright, sweet. Anything else? No, that will be it for now. Alright, thank you. Excuse me. Um, where are the toilets? That way and that way. Just through there.
So I just come out of the toilet and um, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner in here than it was at the um, at the restaurant in Camden. Much, much cleaner. I have to be honest, I was expecting it to be a very, very grim like the one in Camden, but obviously different branches have different managers. This place is obviously managed a lot better. Oh, these wings look so good. It's that time again for me to present to you my findings on the Blues Kitchen in Shoreditch. Starting with taste. The food was phenomenal. Can't fault it. I loved uh, the wings, the buffalo wings that we had. My girlfriend, she had the short rib. Melt in action. It was soft. It was tender. The way it just uh, fell off the bone and just it just melted in your mouth. It was delicious I got the burger of the month it wasn't to my liking I mean it had like a baby back rib shoved in the in the brioche bun and obviously I had to remove that because there was a lot of bone and that just gave a gaping hole in my in my bun I didn't really enjoy that and obviously eating the food the burger was just falling apart I think what I did enjoy the most was the the short rib the buffalo wings and the fries. The coleslaw was actually really good. I actually prefer creamy coleslaw, but this one was um, more crunchy and um, it was sweet, much better than the one that I had at Camden. So I was actually pleasant, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when I had it. So yeah, with regards to taste, I'm gonna have to give Shoreditch Blue's Kitchen a four. Moving swiftly on to presentation, well, I'm not going to waste time here. The food looked good and it was ready to be eaten. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll give that a four as well. So speaking of timing, now I have some mixed feelings about this one because they went off to a good start. When we ordered the food and we ordered our drinks, drinks came promptly. I headed downstairs to the toilets, came back up and the starters were already there. So we were off to a good start. It started to go downhill from there. When we got the mains, I think we must have waited a good, I don't know, half an hour before they came. And although I didn't expect them to come so quickly, I think 30 minutes is a long time to wait for food. The dessert was even worse because I actually left the restaurant, went for a stroll down Shoreditch High Street, queued up at a cash point. Now, mind you, there was a lot of drunks queuing up uh, there too so that took me a long time even now alone 
um, took a long time. Headed back up Shoreditch High Street, got back into the restaurant, only to find that the dessert that they presented wasn't the one we actually ordered. And they promised to change that. So I'm here waiting, thinking, okay, it's going to come real soon. No. Had to wait maybe another 25 minutes before the dessert came. So they started great and it was a very poor finish. So on that note, I'm going to give timing a two and a half. So finally, it's time for me to speak on the overall value, overall experience rather, of Blue's Kitchen in Shoreditch. Taste was good. Presentation was good. Timing wasn't so great, but the overall experience was amazing. I had a great time there. The live band was phenomenal. I think that was the highlight of the night. It was amazing. And actually, the, the footage does not give the live entertainment any justice. You actually have to be in there to experience it for yourself, to actually understand and know how great the night was. And I would urge all you viewers to actually, you know, if you're, if you're thinking of going coming to Blue's Kitchen, try and book um, a table that will coincide with when the live band are on. I urge you to. The food, as I said before, was good. It was priced reasonably. Uh, the portions were reasonable. The only thing I felt was was not was was a bit expensive was the drinks. The bill came up to just over a hundred pounds, which which I didn't think was that bad, and that also included service charge, I might add. But I did find out that the drinks were nine fifty each, and I think they could have been a bit cheaper, considering that when we left the place and went to other bars, we found out that the drinks were considerably cheaper. So you know, if you're in Shoreditch and you're looking for a place to drink. Um, I wouldn't advise drinking at Blue's Kitchen because it is quite costly. So on that note, overall value, I will give Blue's Kitchen in Shoreditch a four and a half. If it weren't for the drinks, it would get a solid five. So that is the end of my review. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos where you can stay in tune with more reviews that I present to you. So till next time. Boom.